the figure of the cow reappears in the stories of the prophet Moses when he comes down off of the mountain in the Sinai's with the uh, Ten Commandments that were um, supposedly um, divinely inspired from the uh, communication with a burning bush that didn't um, was not consumed by the fire and when he saw that his people had um, erected this idol of a golden cow he became very angry uh, with his people and it's um, it's the same cow that reappears in this um, in this story and you know his anger uh, was because of the uh, ignorance of the of the uh, the weight of the situation and the um, the bush the burning bush is a symbol but also a very real phenomenon there's something called Saint Elmo's fire that occurs periodically and the phenomenon is very very similar to what uh, Moses described and it's an electrical discharge that manifests from charge differential that causes everything to uh, give off electrical corona and this luminous corona is uh, in mo most modern scientific theory um, ascribed to um, effects from the sun and there are um, the ancient in the ancient Vedic um, understanding the uh, the sunspots were understood to be the source of this uh, energy on earth and periodically the um, the sun gives off a certain type of energy that manifests on the ground the, the cycles of our of our earth sun uh, relationship uh, bring forth very very unusual phenomenon now anyone who knows much about um, high voltage electricity knows that this corona is also associated with soft x-rays these coronas give off x-rays that penetrate the um, the, um, the everything everything physical you know anything that would be a hydrocarbon you know would, would penetrate into in through the in through the skull it's sort of a light that shines into the mind if you will and in the ages of the rishis um, the original rishis the ones that were the authors of the Aurveda, that light was the source of a form of communication that their culture had developed and this was a sort of telepathy that was um, the source of their of their culture before they before they had written language the Vedas were uh, originally spoken um, there was an oral tradition and before that they were telepathic and this uh, phenomenon was recreated on earth by a, a person uh, by the name of Nikola Tesla and Tesla created something called the Tesla coil and this was one of one of his inventions that in his time did not get much press not much publicity and the uses of this device um, were were never really um, explored um, with his with his um, uh, um, 
with his peers, um, and I say that word um, jokingly because Tesla really didn't have uh, any peers. But he did have a friend uh, named Robert Underwood Johnson. And Johnson uh, published this book of poetry um, that Tesla um, uh, contributed to. And he wrote this poem about Tesla. And it sort of describes what might have been going on um, in private. Here in the dark, what ghostly figures press? No phantom of the past, nor grim nor sad. No wailing spirit of woe, no specter clad. In white and wondering cloud, whose dumb distress is that its crime it may never confess. No shape from the strewn sea, nor they that add, the link of life and death, the tearless mad, that live nor die in dreary nothingness, but blessed spirits waiting to be born, thoughts to unlock the fettering chains of things, the better time, the universal good, their smile is like the joyous break of morn. How fair, how near, how wistfully they brood. Listen, that murmur is of angels' wings. And he's referring to the white and wondering cloud uh, of electricity in Tesla's laboratory. And the murmur of angels' wings is the the sound that's associated with St. Elmo's fire and uh, the Tesla coil.